Welcome back. We are going to do another multiplication problem using our decimal checkerboard mat. And this is, this one is 23 and 45 hundredths times 16 and 22 hundredths. All right. So you can see that my, my 22 hundredths is below my multiplicand, isn't it? Because when we multiply by tenths, we go down, or we're making the answer smaller. When we multiply by whole numbers, we go up. All right. So let's get started with our two hundredths. So we need five, two times. Don't I know that's ten? I do. So I'm just going to go ahead and exchange. Four, two times which is eight, and I know that if I add that one, it'll be nine. Three, two times, which is just six. Two, two times, which is just four. Now we're gonna go five times two tenths. So again, my answer will be below the multiplicand because it's going to be less than the multiplicand. So five, two times, again, is just 10. Four, two times, is eight, plus one is nine. Three, two times, is six. And again, two, two times is four. Now we're going up, because here's the decimal, right? We're gonna, we're gonna move up. Five times six. Well, six times five is 30. Okay, so I could put three tens here, but that wouldn't be smart because we know that we have to just exchange for three and just move it over to a column. That's the carrying part. Now we're gonna go four six times. Well, six times four is 24, plus three is 27. So I'm gonna take this away and I'm gonna do 27. Three six times is 18 plus two is 20. Guess what? That's 20. <laughs> two six times is 12 plus two is 14. So here is 14. I'm going to take this away because we already added it. Now we're going to multiply by the one, the 10 really. So we're going to go five one time. Four, one time. Three, one time. And two, one time. All right, let's take a look at our partial products. All righty. Let's make sure we know what we're doing. Let me erase something. All right, so we have... 23 times, I'm sorry, 23 and 45 hundredths times 16 and 22 hundredths. So we always start here in the smallest unit, correct? So 2 times 5 is 10. So we write our 0 and we carry our 10. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4. So let's see what we got. Hmm. We're going to look, and our first partial product looks like we have four, six, nine. Oh, look at that. So we have, I always want one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So our first answer, we don't need to really worry about the decimal point right now. We'll worry about that later. But we know that we have four, six, nine, and there's nothing here, right? So we got our first partial product. Let's find out what our second partial product is. It's also four, six, nine, isn't it? But it's moved, it's moved up an entire level, which means everything is ten times more. Okay, so now let's let's go ahead. We we're crossing this one off. We are already done with that, and we're gonna 
go up a place value and multiply this whole multiplicand by this 2 tenths, which is what we did right here. So 2 and 5, 2 times 5 is 10. So we're going to carry that one again. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4. Look, we have 4690, 46900. Zero, zero. Everything's just moved over 1, which means it's times 10. And that's what this means when you move up 1. It's everything times 10. 469, 469. See? All right. Let's find out what our next partial product is. I see this 140, 140 and 7 tenths. No, no units, no hundredths. So let's, we're going to be multiplying by 6 now, right? So I'm going to put a 0 here and a zero here, because now we're multiplying by our units, which is six. So six times five is 30, right? Remember when we found that out here and instead of putting three tens, I just put a three over there? That's what we're gonna do right now, 30. So six times five is 30. Carry that three. Six times four is 24, plus three is seven. Gotta carry the two over. Six times three is 18, plus two is 20. Remember when we found that out? So we're gonna carry that two right over to the tens place, just like we did. Now, six times two is 12, plus two is 14. we have 1, 1, 4, 4, 0, 0, 7, 7, 0, 0, and it keeps going zeros, right? Okay, now we've done our first three partial products. Now we're going to multiply by the tens. And that's just by one, so that's easy. But we've moved up. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So now we're in the tens place. Well, 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 2 is 2. Okay, let's see if that matches what we have. 2, 3, 4, 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. And these zeros just show that you've gone up this many places. 0, 0, 0. Okay, now, when we add everything together, it's the same as when we add our beads diagonally. It's the same. So here we have a zero, here we have a nine, here we have a 15, six and four makes 10, plus one is 11, plus five is 16, plus seven is 22. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Let me make sure I'm doing that right. <laughs> Six and four is 10, plus five is 15, six and eight, one, two, three, four, five, 23. Goodness gracious. I've been doing videos all day. My brain is tired. <laughs> then we have four and four is eight, plus two is 10, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then three. I don't know if that's right or not. Let's find out. All right. So I move things down diagonally. So there's my answer in thousandths. There's my answer in hundredths. Let's move all my tenths together. All my units. All my tens and all my hundreds. All right, let's see what we got. 9 and 6 is 15. Carry the 1. Well, 
6 and 4 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 plus 7 is 22. Plus 1 is 23. I'm pretty sure that's what we got the 4, right? And now we have 4 and 4 is 8. Plus 2 is 10. And we have 4 and 4, which is 8. And 2 and 1 makes 3. All right. Let's see what our answer says. 380 and 359 thousandths. Oh, looks like Looks like we got a winner. So we count over. Remember, we learned this before. We count over how many decimals or how many numbers are in the decimal place. One, two, three, four. And then we count over four. One, two, three, four. That's where we put our decimal. It looks like we got our answer correct. 380 and 359 thousandths. Let's take a look again. 300. 80 and 359 thousandths. That was fun.